when a young unknown actor down south read the book called No Time for Sergeants, he said, oh, oh boy, this is a part I can play. And was he right? The play No Time for Sergeants made a star of that fella. You know him now as the sheriff of Mayberry on television, and his name, of course, is Andy Griffin. Looking at a couple of old ex-school teachers here. What, yeah. what subject did you teach? I taught music and speech. And it is true, after I got through teaching those kids speech, before I taught them speech, they used to talk like you do. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's right. What grade did you teach? I taught high school. Yeah. I taught all the, uh, all, all grades of high school. Yeah. Taught music, taught three years, bad teacher, and got out. <laughs> Went to Broadway, it was going to be a big hit, and yeah. boy, did you bomb out, huh? Bombed out? Well, yeah. <laughs> I bombed out uh, on Ed Sullivan, and then I bombed out on a nightclub, Blue Angel. Then I went back south and learned how to entertain a little. Then I came out here and bombed out here. It sounded like your career went nowhere there for a while. <laughs> it went nowhere for about six years. But you were learning. Yeah, I learned a little something here and there along the way, and then I met a young man named Don Knotts, and I made it. <laughs> Actually, when you read that book, No Time for Sergeant, Andy, uh, why were you so sure that that was going to be it for you? Because it was. Television, stage well, play, the motion picture? Well, see, I was doing, uh, I'm from the South. <laughs> and I knew if, uh, if there was a Southern part come along ever, I'd go for it. And this was perfect. And I called my time and I did everything. And when the opportunity came, I stole it. <laughs> you I told you. I went did. with it, yeah. And I got the part, and I've been uh, I've been working ever since. You certainly have. Yeah, it's been. You're from Raleigh, time. aren't you? No, I'm from a place called Mount Airy, North Carolina. That's up in the mountains. A little town. Little town. <clears throat> Real small people live there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, I went back, as a matter of fact, just last week, and got my parents and brought them out here to live uh, live with us. Really? Yeah. yeah. And of course, uh, Mayberry's a little town. Mayberry is a fictitious little town in the 30s, set in the 30s when there was, you know, without the depression and everything. And when life was easy, when about 90% of the country lived in small towns. And uh, that's all we're trying to do. Andy, you know, married a gal whom we met in college, and she was going to be a, uh, an actress, and you were going to be a singer. Mm -hmm. You had your nightclub act together, and that's where the young man you're going to introduce Yeah, tonight. we get to talk about Bob a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. All right. <laughs> I want to talk about Bob, Bob McDonald. Bob McDonald, his friend of mine, he's a lot younger than I am, but we went to college together. See, I'm retarded, actually. <laughs> and it took me a long time to get out, but Bob, he and I were in the music school together, and he stuck with it. And uh, he went over to uh, he went over to Vienna, see, and On studied GI Bill. Bill, and studied piano over there. And he's a he's a fine piano player, concert-like piano player. Married a girl from Vienna. She's with us tonight, watching. And uh, uh, I, I've always... We tried to get on your show last summer when you were on. Yeah. And uh, we, we couldn't make it because it was near the end, and I'm so glad we made it this time. Yeah, well, he's, he, had he's a, he had a pretty good talent scout recommending him, you know. Oh, uh, well, no. He plays good piano. No, but I mean to get on this program, you, all you had to do was call me. Well, I'm glad I called. <laughs> Well, he, called, he switched from popular to concert. No, he never was really popular. Uh, he was popular. <laughs> I didn't mean, he was popular. No, I don't mean that, but he, he never did really play popular music, but he played piano for Barbara and me. That Barbara, that's the lady that I married years ago. <laughs> and uh, he played piano for us on our act, see. And then uh, we kind of left one of those company. And he's living in Florida now, Bob, and uh, doing concerts out of that. We have a couple of numbers for you tonight that's going to knock you right flat on your living room floor. You watch this. Yeah. Because after giving a recital at Carnegie Hall and appearing in concerts around Europe, this is his first appearance on American television coast to coast. We picked something very familiar for all of you, Chopin's Fantasy Impromptu, and then something quite, uh, well, the whole place is going to fall to pieces. It's Prokofiev's 
precipitatatototo. And, uh, <laughs> very good, very good. Yes, it's a good piece, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bob McDonald. <laughs>